TechCrunch. I'm back for day two. Things are a little thinner here, as they always are. People are more tired. A little sicker of all these exciting new startups. Anyway. Oh, I got in a kilt. Very nice. I like that. I like that in a man. Kilt wearing geek. But the uh, crowd is still here in the ballroom. I can't get enough. I can't get enough of startups. Everybody wants to know what's next. It's the disease of Silicon Valley and yet why it's so successful. Attention deficit disorder related to innovation. Wonder if Ritalin will work. Okay, here's John Petschkowski from Digital Daily Live Blogging. John, are you riveted? No, I am. Be honest. You know what, I am in fact not riveted. Oh, you're not? What are you then? Give me your emoticon. Uh, my emoticon? Yeah. Uh, if I were to, if my emoticon right now is one of those smiley faces with the plus signs across the eyes. <laughs> so a stupor. Uh, You've been stupor. put into a startup yes. stupor. I've been dulled into a stupor. Right, what's one interesting thing? Friend. Uh, one interesting thing? And he's in a stupor. Uh, uh, my big interesting thing from yesterday is yeah. that Andreessen, Chad Hurley, and David Philo all find Apple CEO Steve Jobs to be the most important figure in tech these days. Interesting. Well, that's a good guess for now. Anyway, John, back to the work. <laughs> Get back to the... Back to the back You're going to gonna cut the middle part out, right? Back to the right? factory, John. Back to the, back back to the, to the dot com line. factory, exactly. Get working, type him, type him, John. Welcome. Mark, Mark, what do you do here? Welcome to V Holder. Okay. It's your first wearable camcorder, so you can shoot and right. share video. Wow, and then it's instant. Look how little that thing is. D, uh, all things D Boomtown is going to borrow one of these, and we're going to try it out. We're going we're gonna to wear it all around and drive people nuts. Look at that. Okay, so then you could like put them on handlebars. We're not, we're not doing that. We're totally not. No, we're not doing that either. Mossberg's gonna do that. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Mossberg, get ready. I'm gonna do the, the motorcycle part. Cool. Excellent. Are you having a good time here? Having a great time. Good. Good. Check good. out beholder.com. Cool. Absolutely. Okay. This is the guy from Mint. Mint guy. Pretty popular here. I think people like you. You might win. Uh, you might hope win. So. Okay. Hope so. so Explain really quickly. Introduce yourself first. You can't just so be Mint I'm, guy. I'm Aaron Patzer, right. founder of Mint.com, right. and Mint is a free personal finance web right. app. It's about 10 times easier to use than Quicken or Microsoft Money. It takes right. about two minutes to set up, right. and it'll actually make so you So what money. do you think about all this, these widgets companies as software companies? Do you think it's the future? What do you, what's do going on? Do I think on? widgets are the future? No, the idea of you know replacing traditional old big software programs with instant web-based apps kind of thing. Well, I do think it's the future. I'm, I, I don't think that you need to do any box software or anything that's on the uh, desktop right. unless it's a high bandwidth application like right. uh, a game or, or video uh -huh. or uh, something like Photoshop. Right. And what's the big trend from your point of view right at this moment? The, the big trend in the internet space? Well, yes. No, no. In retail. No. Yes, of course the uh, internet space. Um, We're at an internet conference. Well, I mean, Mint it guy. seems like everybody else here is doing some sort of social media site. Right. Something with uh, video and IM and chat right. and putting that all together. And they're Thinking. really, exactly, sink, right. syncing your, your digital life, your di digital entertainment. Right. Uh, Mint is kind of the only one who's doing anything in the financial space. Right. There hasn't been a lot of innovation there. Is this there. idea of syncing everything and bringing it together. That's right. So pulling all, all your banks together into right. one location, right. having it automatically categorized, classified. Cool. Get alerts through email, text messages right. for cool. low balances, bill reminders. Right. Um, well, so good luck then. The I'm going to come web. visit Mint. We'll see more of Mint soon. Right, Mint and Mountain View. All right, thanks. Bye, right. Mint guy. Uh, the man of the hour, Jason Caligatis. Kara Swisher special. How you doing? Uh, just waiting for the right. Boom this is the Barbara Walters. This is the Barbara Walters. What you point were, do you want me to cry? If you were a startup, what kind of startup would you be? If I was a startup, what kind of startup? I would be somewhere between like a Google and a Wikipedia. Okay, nice choice. Listen, that's what you're doing right now, correct? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Not that we want to mention Mahalo. No. Let's not talk Mahalo. We have, Let's a, talk about we this have a moratorium on the M word at this time. M word. Okay, listen, oh. what's, the, what's the highlight so far? What, what things have you liked trend wise? You don't have to name companies. Trend wise, but... one of the things I'm seeing over and over again is 
people creating independent third-party systems that log into multiple systems, right. suck so the data syncing, down, syncing the yeah, and, and then do something with it. So right. whether it's going into your E-Trade, Ameritrade, and pulling your trades into something right. that was uh, Cake like Finance. Cake was doing, or right. like Mint is doing, logging into your bank accounts and then putting it all together, or right. Clickable was doing that across Yahoo Publisher, Network AdSense, and right. Microsoft Ad Center. So it seems like people are creating a layer. It's a very much a Facebook right. kind of uh, style right. uh, concept. But let's suck in all the other data and put a layer on top right. of it. And I'm, you know, Flock, um, which has been much beat up, I think, because they sort of floundered for the first year, right. actually came up with a pretty interesting application where they're putting a layer <laughs> on top of the people putting layers. So ah. they made a browser where it makes one buddy list out of Flickr, YouTube, right. and Facebook, right. and then let you drag and drop media and items oh, between them. Oh, the middleman of the internet. So it, it just is like a layering what's, what's on top of a layering. What's too hype? Very quickly, what's too hype? You have five seconds, too hype. Too, too hype, what's too hyped? Eh, I don't, nothing here. Nothing, nothing in Jason's nothing, life. You know, nothing here is too hyped. Okay. Uh, I think in the marketplace, obviously, search engine optimization is too hyped. I think it's going to be remembered as, it probably won't be remembered in the history of the internet. Right. It'll be like one of these little footnotes, like you used to be able to game these systems for a right. period of time, right. and people created businesses around gaming of right. systems. But you know, those are not sustainable models. Right. And so I think SEO is going right. to be one of the sort of weird. So you're having a good time, Jason. I'm having a great time. Good. As you know, uh, doing these events is absolutely exhausting. Right. So I'm looking forward to uh, taking a little break after Excellent. this. Excellent, Jason. Nice job. Thanks. Okay, they got good food here. I got to tell you, that's an important part any conference, you got your spicy Caesar in a box. And various wraps. Very nice. Very nice Calicamas. Very nice choices. Ah, genius. Churros. Can't go wrong with a churros and a chocolate chip cookie. Kind of kind of nails it for me.